In this video, we will be creating a document with Ruby from the command line using the Tornado document generation engine. I've already installed and configured Tornado so that it's running on port 8080 and under the status tab you'll be able to confirm that Tornado is running and in the template area we will be using the welcome template.doc for this video. From our website, if you go to the Tornado resources area, you'll find a selection of code samples that you can use to test Tornado. In this video we'll be using the Ruby render. Let's download that file and add it to a folder on our machine. Without making any changes, let's run that file. And we'll see that it's created a PDF file in the same directory. This is a PDF file based on the template that came bundled with Tornado. Let's have a quick look at the code together. First of all you notice we have to specify the endpoint that we'll be connecting to which is also here in the Tornado server. Further down in the Ruby code we mention the name of the template that we'll be using and we also define the name of the file that we'll be creating. Tornado looks at this file extension to determine the type of file we'll be creating. Let's change that to a doc and we'll create a Microsoft Word document instead. And a bit further down in the code, we're slowly building up the JSON data. Let's just change this message that we pass in. We can save that file and rerun the code. See, this time we've created a Microsoft Word document and that document's now got the new data that we're passing from the code. Hopefully this gives you a basis for exploring how to create documents using Tornado from Ruby. Thanks for watching.